and hello there Wargaming enthusiasts, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate where we continue trudging on through the campaign as additional missions and things keep happening, um, but we'll not be doing the uh, mission that we're supposed to be doing, we're not going to be doing the next uh, story mission so to speak, we're going to take one of the, actually we're probably going to take all three of the side missions that are now going to be available. Brother Library. So this briefing is irrelevant, this briefing is relevant. We have received reports that Chaos Forces are active in this sector. The Astropaths have received information regarding three possible targets of opportunity, of which we could take advantage. Tactical reports for each target will follow. We may choose to attack any or all of the targets of opportunity, thus increasing our army's battle readiness and possibly bolstering our depleted supplies. We may also choose to proceed to our primary objective. Yeah, like I said, we'll be doing these uh, side missions. We'll be doing them because, well, I want supplies, first of all, um, especially plasma um, projectiles would be handy. Second of all, um, we're going to need the experience. If I'm going to be losing people, um, we've lost one marine so far, but we might be losing more of them. Um, we're probably going to need to uh, use these side missions to rebuild our XP a little bit and also get um, the actually living marines the additional XP that they will require to get the next mission the next story mission um, you know on uh, uh, well just just handle it uh, well and not suffer too many casualties in the process just because everyone will be a little bit more able to perform um, sufficiently well I suppose okay enough waffling um, we have three missions to select Nominus Remnants of a large chaos force have been detected on the world below. Destroy them all. Let none escape our righteous justice. Sounds like something I'd like to do. Goranado. Goranado. There we go. I can read. The taint of chaos has spread to the planet below. Take your forces to the surface and cleanse it of this atrocity. Glory to the Imperium. Uh, yes. This one has the exact same... Uh, uh, briefing, all right, and uh, this would be the story mission, uh, which we will forgo for now. All right, let's take the swamp planet then. Um, and for this mission, we get to use the assault squad, which is great, and we can use two squads total. That's great. So we'll be taking the assaults and the devastators. Uh, the assaults will be replaced with our trusty marines from the tactical squad, um, and it leaves us one opening. We've got Aurelius here, Saturninus, Valerius, and Alarbus. Hey, that uh, and uh, in the Devastator's room, Antidaxius. I guess we could move you to the Assault Squad as well, right? I've heard uh, something about Scars. That is, uh, those are probably easier to uh, obtain in the Assault Squad there, if you want any of those. Uh, and Mom. Mom will stay in um, the Devastator's, I suppose. Um, Alright. So we need one more guy, let's pick a guy who is suitable. We're running out of, uh, well, trained people, I suppose, but... Uh, this guy's pretty okay, I suppose he'll do for a Devastator squad. Um, right. The Assault Squad is by far my favorite unit in this game. Um, they get to do all sorts of crazy stuff using their jetpacks, that's what they look like and they're armed with a pistol and a sword, well, and a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. So Aurelius, you can have a plasma pistol. Um, Saturninus, actually, yeah, you can. And Daxus will have the other plasma pistol. How many clips do we actually have? Not a lot. Okay, uh, you know what? So for this mission, since we don't have that much plasma ammunition, we're going to be using bolters. Um, we've got some power swords, we've got that conciliator power sword that uh, we managed to nab from the previous mission. We can actually go and check it out in the encyclopedia. Yes, we can. Uh, somewhere here. Chain fist, lightning close, power fist. Chain sword, power axe, power sword. Dude. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us about the actual ones. No, it does, okay. So, Conciliator Power Sword. The Conciliator Power Sword increases the wielder's, the wielder's initiative by 30 points. Um, in close quarters, initiative matters. It indicates who is going to strike first. It has armor penetration of 50, which is, I suppose, a reasonably high number. 
and does a lot of damage and stuff. My favorite weapon is the Power Fist in almost any game, pretty much. Uh, well, let's get the normal one there. Find the normal one. Power Fist. Heavy armored gauntlet surrounded by an energy field which disrupts the surface of solid matter, allowing the fist to punch through walls and armor and grip and their way at solid objects. My favorite. It is a close co con combat. Ah, sorry, close combat weapon certainly, um, and it does a lot of armor penetration and a lot of damage, and it's usually pretty slow. Although I don't see. Huh. It, usually, when you're using a power fist in 40k games of all descriptions, I suppose, you usually go last, or like you have low initiative or something like that. Not here though, that's that's great, because um, we're going to be using a lot of those. Um, right, and uh, Aurelius also requested to be given the conciliator power sword, and if he did fill out the necessary um, form here, the FFR23, right, and that seems to be all in order, right name, yes. Hamsters? Really? Hamsters? Okay, well, guess what you do in your own time is your own business. Oh no, here's a note from uh, the Quartermaster though, it says uh, that, um, no, the request is denied. Um, apparently the Quartermaster is not happy with our Marine here. Apparently something about personal um, statements made in public? Whatever. Okay, well, not gonna argue there. Uh, you can have a power axe. Saturninus, have a power fist. Valerius, have a power sword. Alarbus, also have a power sword. Antidaxius, you can have... Daxius. You can have power fist. I'm sorry, I can't read, apparently. Um, I guess we can uh, give somebody a flamer. Here, you can have a flamer. Actually, you can have the purifier hand flamer. Nah, that's fine. Although we don't plan on losing people, so you might as well. Um... Here, you can have a conciliation uh, power flamer. Uh, sorry, power flamer, purifier, hand flamer. Um, all right, and these guys will be acting in close quarters quite a lot. They're not going to be using their bolters quite as much. Instead, they're going to be using much more, they're going to be relying much more on grenades and things. I'd love to have more uh, plasma grenades, but I do not. Um, that's actually not. So you're just gonna get crack grenades, crack grenades, crack grenades, two frag grenades each, fine. We're not using those blind, blind grenades anymore. Um, melt bombs we probably don't need. Uh, extra medkits. Extra medkits. And Aurelius can take a scanner and everybody else will take more grenades. All right, um, so that's squad number one. Squad number two. Electus, Arcadius, Mom, Lucillus, and Drusus. Okay, well, somebody else did pop out in the comment, pop up in the comments. So let's get on naming. Um, let's see. How would we sun? Yeah. Yes. Okay. There we go. Nice Latinification of a name. Santianus. Yeah, that, that works. We could actually revert it back to the original Latin, but we're gonna stick with that. Sorry, mate. <laughs> well, sorry. If you were expecting something different, that's all you get. Um, Alright, we're probably not going to use uh, that much ammunition. We're also probably not going to use that many grenades, to be honest. Uh, let's be better safe than sorry. Thing. Um, you can have a grenade, you can have another grenade, you can have another grenade. Why do you uh, pay attention? There we go. Uh, Lucilla's fine. A mom, uh, actually, you get another weapon of the heavy bolter variety with more of those. All right. Natural squad. Actually, why don't you take a heavy bolter instead of Arcadius here? Um, right, that, that, and I guess one more. There we go. Um, hopefully the heavy bolt will be an easy way to get some XP your way. Right, and you do have high accuracy, so... That's okay, weapon skill is so-so, right? You guys have a decent weapon skill, right? 
except for anti nexus. All right, well, that'll be fine, I'm sure. All right, and off we go into the world. Um, no. I always get this jarring feeling that something's missing when I load up the mission and there's no uh, music, bla music blasting through the speakers, but um, I guess that's that. This is a horribly annoying woodland planet, I suppose. Well, it's a swamp. Um, here we see a squad of five marines right off the bat. One of them has a flamer, I think. That's a flamer. In the uh, distance we see some cultists. And in the further distance still, we see some more cultists and some crates. We should pick those crates up. They probably have supplies that we desperately need. Possibly they have, uh, what they're called, um, you know, the, the things we want. Plasma, right, plasma ammunition, which prevents us from taking all the cool guns onto our missions right now. Let's have mum move up, take him contact with enemy units. and contact some enemy units with heavy weapons. That's not poor thing, it's just lousy penetration. So. Okay, and we can only do that one. The other ones are... Um, we, well, we had to scoot around to fire at them, so... Uh, we don't get to fire additional shots at them. Um, right, you take me, you're going to take one shot only. Poor aim shall lead to your death. That's not poor aim. Well, no wonder you joined the wrong side, if your logic is as flawless as that. Um, alright. Target acquired. Um, do we see anybody new? Not particularly. Alright. You take an E. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm going to have to try and get rid of them, uh, promptly. Uh, that's fine, though. Um, we do have an ace up our sleeve. All right, you guys move up. Electus. And you can't fire at that guy. You can fire at the flamer, so do that. All right, he's taking it pretty well, unfortunately. Um, we got one more. Take a knee. Yeah, we don't care about those. Those are cultists that you've seen. Ah! Ah! What horrible aim! Okay, well, you redeemed yourself at the end there, but that guy's still alive, I want to, I'd like to add. Right, now these guys. The fun thing about these guys is they can fly, and that means they can rather rapidly redeploy. Say that thing ten times fast. Takes them a couple of... Uh, Time, uh, action points, but it does move them close to enemy heavy weapons, for instance, which they can then theoretically take care of using, um, you know, superior hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Like that, thank you. You almost proved me wrong there. Like, do you have a grudge against me, sir? Like, did I do anything to you that you are underperforming? All right, uh, let's get these guys up here as well. Aurelius, actually, okay. We have, their location. We have custom name characters doing all the work. Here. That was acceptable. Move up. And... All right, they're doing a good job so far. Um, this guy's under the tree, which means he can't fly around, so we have to get him from under there. And we should be fine now, yes. Um, right, so we'll just land here, I suppose. Enemy located. Yep, I'm sure there are. And another Parfist attack up this guy. That was quick. Ow. Oh, that, that hurt. He chipped armor on the first go, but second go, he definitely got us well. All right, well, we have Valerius here. Valerius will also take a flight and head towards the enemy. 
All right. Take this power sword out. Do your job. Wow. Now this bloody hurt. Take a mad pack. Okay, this time he missed. Wow. That guy's tough. For whatever reason, he is just tough. Um, all right, where are we? We were here. Go down there. They're also not always perfect on the landing, so they, they might land. They might land out of position. But it hasn't happened so far. All right, come on, finish him off. There we go. And now we are far into the en far into enemy territory. Um, we have pistols. Luckily, we're dealing with cultists, so it's not a problem that we are here, but we do have to be careful how we use these guys. And um, all of our other marines are currently out of position. Right, um, let us end the turn and continue. Uh, fighting with the assault squad is actually sort of... I mean, it definitely opens up new possibilities and it makes some of these missions ridiculously easy. Um, the story missions introduce a lot of land between you and enemy positions, I think, to, to, con to counter that, so you're not able to just fly in and turn one and do whatever. I am coming. Well, you're coming to me. I will come to you when it's my turn. Sir, not gonna tell me what to do. You're not my mom. My mom's over there with uh, a heavy bolter, sir. So you watch it. Um, all right. Well, that's far away. <laughs> the problem with those pistols is that they have a lousy range, although it would help if I actually checked the range for the pistol and not the sword. The range of the sword, by the way, is one tile. Uh, well, we can fire, so we'll just sit here and fire. Yeah, the... Uh... The bolt pistols are well suited for tackling um, the Chaos Cultists, so no problem there. Um, this thing we're probably going to have to wait for. Uh, well, wait for them to get into range, because right now it's just out of any range whatsoever. But if we put him on Overwatch, it might be fun. Okay, well, that was kind of messed up. I didn't notice that uh, he didn't have a line of sight there, but he didn't, and therefore he did not hit. Um, you need to take a med pack. There we go. You see a chaos, what's it? Cultists out here in the distance, but you don't have range, so you'll just go on overwatch. Um, let's see, who's left? Aurelius. Aurelius will also move up here. You also have a flamer, so you'll take any, go on overwatch and switch to the hand flamer. You're also going to switch the hand flamer and uh, do that. Now you guys, you guys can actually fire out there into the distance. Uh, I think I will move you out maybe, or well, just fire. Because who cares? At this point, it doesn't really matter. We're no threat whatsoever. We've handled uh, many more chaos cultists on just a regular mission. So, I'm not worried about like 10 or so, or whatever, however many there are. Um, seven, I think, maybe. So, yeah. No clever tactics for the remainder. Just firing. Like so. Um, right, you can just go up here. So let's move everybody up. And it's a location of a Chaos Cultist, about which we care not. Let's fire at somebody. Yeah, well, we hit the tree. Um, and we have Arcadius over here, he's gonna move up. Fire! much harder to kill people when all you've got is a bolter and there's a bunch of three, uh, three trees between you and the enemy. All right, that's our turn. They're coming for us. They are moaning slightly. Okay, that guy's trying some sort of crazy flanking maneuver. Or uh, he maybe is just unable to move through whatever cover is in the way. 
there we go that's a sort of fire position there sort of small fortress you can use that to get advantage um, not only for like four of my marines we might be using these sort of they're gonna pop out in uh, these uh, side missions which I'm pretty sure are randomly generated and they, these things pop out uh, you can use them as a sort of place uh, to get your uh, assault marines and to cover that's certainly a thing you can do all right there's one more over here. There we go. Um, we'll put all the assault marines on uh, Overwatch actually, and everybody else will take up position and uh, fire. Because I'm pretty sure we are very slightly out of range here. Okay, doke. Um, sorry, I'm a little lost with the map here. Let's make it a little bigger. Um, there's no landmarks to navigate by, so I can't tell where bloody end. Oh, come on. Ah. Come on. There, we get you some reinforcements. You're going to be fine. Or no. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Watch and learn. Now, the assault squad is actually. Hmm. The tactical squad is now um, very close to the assault squad, as it appears. I didn't notice that. Um, yeah, that's only one of the first time I'm having trouble orientating myself around these uh, randomly generated maps. But. That means we can probably use them for moving up and doing more damage. Send this mission quicker. Now, let's have you take a knee, fire, fire again. Uh, didn't work. You actually don't take a knee, just fire. Ah, horrible aim. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. We can probably just jump in. Uh, we can't because we're under a tree. Yep. All right, yes, what are you doing under a bloody tree? Fine, we'll start off with, uh, well, let's start off with somebody else, with Alarbus, who's actually well suited for this mission that I have in mind, which is come here. There we go. Let's burn in righteous flame. My thoughts exactly. All right. Um, anti dark Danxius, you're going to uh, move up here. And yeah. Okay, we see one more cultist over there. Cultist over there, but that's no big deal. Oh, there we go. He landed out of position, one square, but that's not a huge deal. Can use his power fist, nevertheless, and his bolter, uh, well, bolt pistol, uh, to do the rest. Um, all right, let's get the radius up. Move up here and uh, next to this cultist, please. They go nice and easy. Um, all right, let's move you up here. Maybe this guy, and that leaves us what? Two guys. One of them is on fire. Very well. We've got more marines. Uh, first, let's go this guy since he's not on fire, and we need to rectify that. Well, we need to do something about him. We don't actually have the means to set him on fire right now. We can just shoot him in the back. All right, and that leaves you, and you can go here. Don't land on fire, please, because that would be embarrassing. Switch the power sword mid flight. And let's not end mission just yet. Let's get a look at what's in those crates, because I don't remember whether um, that happens automatically or not. Uh, 
um, where did you land, sir? Okay. Uh, so move up. And um, 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 this button. There we go. We found a Terminator chain fist. Boring. We found blind grenades. Oh, glory. Anything else? Not really. Wow, that's a waste. <laughs> um, there's one more crate though, somewhere there, so let's get somebody else on the case. There we go. Found it. Oh, two more cases? No. We've seen those, right? Those are the ones we looked at? I don't know, I'm so confused. Just land here and check. Yeah, no, the, the, those aren't the ones we looked at, because the ones we looked at have a Marine sitting on it. Right. Brother Marine. Uh, wrong button. This button. We found some power swords. Okie doke. Not sure what we're going to do with all those power... Ah, uh, no, they're terminated chain fist. Hmm. I see. Is there anything else? Did I see something else? Ah well, let's hope if there's anything else that is going to be automatically picked up, um, let's end the mission. And that's how it goes. They're pretty simple missions, these. Um, the only thing that really differs is the amount of enemies and your positioning, which is random as far as I can tell. Alright, so we've got some kills scored on all of our guys, especially the uh, assault squad there. Mm, they Okay, anti tanks got promoted to a Space Marine Veteran. And all that for killing a bunch of cultists and a marine. Very well. No awards though. Um, not yet anyway. Brother Lectus, nothing really. Okay, Brother Lucille's got promoted to veteran. Good. Okay, somebody got awarded the Crooks Terminatus. Oh, Mom got awarded the Crooks Terminatus. Which means that Mom can now become a Terminator and fight in Terminator armor, and all that for killing a bunch of cultists and a marine. Uh, this also gives you something, but I don't remember. Oh, we can check in the encyclopedia. Yay. Um, Brother Arcadius got the Lee Squad. Uh, Brother Aurelius, we've already checked. Okay, so that's that. That's how it works. Um, do you like it? Because we're doing another Brother one. Brother Librarian. No, this is irrelevant. Uh, let's do uh, this one then. Alright. Um, same thing. Actually, one thing. We'll swap, let's say, Valerius maybe, or. Oh yeah, Alarbus will swap with this guy. Um, it's gonna see more action that way. Um, and, uh, yeah. The uh, setup is going to be pretty much the same. Um, you guys will take your bolt pistols, right? Take extra grenades and extra medkits. Let's just go for the grenades now. Grenades. Grenades. Fewer of those things and uh, what I say, medkits, right? Probably don't need the scanner to be honest. I usually don't need the scanner, I just like taking it because I feel like the one time I'm going to need it, I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna have it, so I always take it, so I don't, so I never need it. Apparently. If Marfi's laws is anything anything to go by, uh, just fill up on grenades, 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 you um you fill up on clips. Alright. Well, that's that. Let us continue. Mission number two. And no music. Oh, and the map did the, 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 the thing. Where it goes all weird. Okay. So what we see right off the bat is marines with some sort of heavy weapon. Looks like maybe a missile launcher. And we don't see anything else. I see. Uh, we're going to play this one a little bit more tactically, I suppose. There's some hills here and there. We may be able to... Uh, the uh, 
yeah, I think we, sh we should be able to use uh, this ridge line because I think that's a ridge line. Hard to tell with the uh, how it's drawn uh, to uh, prepare a fire position and from here fire on those guys over there. And hopefully we can figure out where the other enemies are and uh, move our assault marines in uh, at close range and do the thing that we did in the last mission. Um, so yeah, sli slightly more strategizing than last time. Not a huge amount though. Report sighting enemy units. Yeah, that's just marines. Though. I mean, those are the same ones. Can you see them from here? You cannot. Hmm. That's awkward. Okay, and I also got you up too far. That's okay. We're going to move them up, nevertheless, and take a position on that ridge line, nevertheless. And we're going to wait and see what the enemy does, basically, in that case. Hopefully, they will. Uh... I hate the uh, leveling. I mean, the the the. The Z levels, I suppose, on this in this bloody game never work the way I want them to. Okay, so we can fire them from here. But I'd love to sit here behind that ridge line and possibly become invisible behind it. Um, all right, uh, more marines, please. Um, over here. There's an option for this stuff somewhere here, just a second, sorry. Uh, let's, let's turn this off. Auto cat the character level and select, maybe that will work. Um, you want to do music for one? Nah? Nah? It's cool, right? I won't start singing because I did play this game a lot as a kid, and some of the some of the chants talk. I'm sorry to say. Um, you actually have enough points to get into uh, get into Overwatch. All right, nobody else does. Right, you. We're just gonna hide you here. Everybody. I'm gonna take a knee because that's just safer. Um, yeah, and possibly next turn we might move you out of here and into enemy positions. Oh, we'll see. The enemy turn now. Okay, we see some cultists heading our way. That's certainly uh, a thing to be expected. Man, this music is great, isn't it? Okay, well, the, enemy are upon us. the marines didn't seem to have moved though, that's annoying. Tell you what, let's try and bait them. Melta? I am envious of your Melta then. Oh, they did move out. Mm. Who shot me? So many trees. Did they move? I'm confused. Well, whatever, can't really do anything about it now, so we'll just sit. Um, go there. Oh. Right. Um, okay, move in Lucilla's over here. Report sighting enemy units. Move, move, move. We have engaged Take me. See you can see. Take some of them out. So 
really don't get annoying up close. Um, you can fire from the dafts, so do that. I hold your dead. Or you can hit random trees. That's a thing you can do as well. Um, who am I to deny you, sir? Electus will move down here, also form the defensive line. Um, he's all sorts of chaos troops, but it's no big deal. Actually, he's a little... Hmm. He sees a lot of marines, so let's actually move back. Because that means they can see him as well. You guys, you just wait. Okay, there's some more cultists down there. Could move in all the way up here if you wanted to, but if these guys move a little closer, that would be more convenient. Uh, you can only jump so far, so I can't jump, for example, all the way down here. Although I could do it in two jumps, sort of thing. Of course, that'll take uh, additional um, APs, and every jump takes what, 10, so that'll take 20. Um, so half of my AP, basically, to move, turn, stuff like that. Alright, the cultists are moving in certainly. Yeah, the marines are moving in, but now they can take shots at us, they'll just... Ah! Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm slightly annoyed. So maybe I'm a little cavalier about this. Um, right, let's... Uh, and this could have been prevented as well. Oh well. Marine's gonna die. Sort of thing. Uh, let's take these guys out. Because they have a melt uh, gun and a melt cannon, I suppose. Uh, it seems so, anyway. Um, so, right. We need to get in there, in their face, and uh, remove it. Oh, I didn't actually take any good equipment on you guys. Uh, so, considering the little grenades, I didn't give you uh, the proper uh, power swords and things, so you all have chain swords as well. That's a bad idea. Well. That's gonna suck. Um, don't worry, I got us into this trouble, I'll get us out. Um, maybe. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Somewhere here, I suppose. We still have grenades, though, so... Mm, that guy we need to take care of as well. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, I suppose. Um, don't worry, I'll just blame it all on the individual marines. Nobody's gonna know it's all my fault. Um, right. So you get down here as well, please. Somewhere here is nice. Well, suitable, I suppose, is the right word. Uh, actually, it's not. We need to take care of that bit first, so let's do that. Um, where can we jump to? That's closest. Okay, that gets us here. We can get to frame 19, or we can jump. Get there. Alright, that'll work, I think. There we go. Uh, we need one more marine on here. Okay, you also have 50. That's good because we're going you to do two jumps as well. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, I guess you can jump here. Okay, you should be able to do two attacks. Ah, okay, well, 
Last chance. You fail. Okay, we've got one more marine, but I don't think we have anywhere to jump. Just move in here, but that's again a little bit more expensive. If we jump here, we're gonna have we're gonna end up with 14. We should be able to turn and uh, use a grenade, or maybe can we use a grenade right now? No, we cannot. Never mind then. Plan A. Okay, we can move in here for six and use our power sword. Let's do that. So it's a little risky, but... There we go, it did work. Good, now we have a bunch of marines stuck among chaos marines, but it's a better situation than we were off a second ago, where I put them there and there were five of the enemy. Um, right, let's see what we can do with our tacticals. We can do that. Uh, which is not much apparently. Mm -hmm. Thinking on the fly here. You can tell how difficult the mission is by uh, how much time I spend going. Hmm. By the way, let's do something dangerous. Okay, but it did work, which is good. Um. Because I was shooting over the heads of my own marines, which is never a good idea, but this time it miraculously was a good idea. Which is fine by me. So now they're left there with one enemy marine and a bunch of cultists. We can use the cells to get rid of these guys so they don't start bothering us in here. Come on. Come on! Okay, well at least one of them. Um, whereas you can... Take a knee and try and take out that marine for us. But two shots didn't work. Alright, well that's that. Yeah, I, I guess we're going to have to train up another marine. Now I'm lucky it was the Devastator Squad Marine, so less experienced. No, no, no. Don't do that thing. No, 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 it's fine. Where did that come from? Was that the Chaos Cultist shooting or was that another Marine there somewhere? Because I know Marines come in group of five, in groups of five, right? So we killed four of them. Ah, well, some friendly fire there. Something we managed to actually avoid. Uh, how are you here? Why are you here? Um, take him out please Aurelius. Um, one more shot. How much does this take to use? 15. Okay, so you have one more shot. Good job, sir. Now scan. Okay. Okay, so whatever is there, it's in front of us. I used it, haha. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see now. Santianos. Move in here. I need you to take a Come on. Okay, well, you're new. Alright. Um, maybe I was expecting a little too much. That's fine. Completely okay. Uh, right. Let's just grenade him. Okay, good. Now you get your butt up front. Um, let's see, somewhere here. This is good. Um, and just stay on Overwatch. We don't want to have any more grenades flying this direction. Um. <laughs> You just try taking out some of the Chaos, um, the Chaos Cultists. Who else have we got? You. Okay. Good. Who else? 
got uh, one more marine, right? Yes, we've got, of course, Antidanxius. Oh, I should have named him something else. Well, never mind. His <coughs> numbers in his name. And Romans have tons of names for numbers. So he could have been um, Quintus Hexius Quartus Daxius, right? Ah, that would have been cool. <laughs> Although I don't think you can actually make that such long names here. Okay, you did fire over the shoulder of your ally there, but you didn't manage to clear off that cultist, so that's great. Let's have mom clean up. Alright. Okay, and uh, what we've got left is Electus. Managed to clear a tree and we'll see more of the chaos cultists there. So my plan almost worked, right? Um, it, it was a slight hitch. I didn't expect the enemy to shoot at me, i.e., but um, you know, on the whole, pretty good plan. It's just that uh, they got shot at. I mean, I, I thought I made it clear that regulations do not allow marines to be shot at. So I guess it's a good thing he died, because otherwise he'd have been court-martialed, right? So yeah, it all works out. <laughs> anyway, and turn. Like I said, these missions that get a little repetitive, they're all samey. A little samey. But... They are, I suppose, a simple way to get some experience and equipment, and sometimes lose some people. I hate doing that, but I want you to We've got spares. That's okay. I guess I came in a little bit confident about what I can do and whether the enemy will be able to hit me or not. This will not happen again, I think, now that I've learned my lesson. Although we will see. Not that smart, as it turns out. Okay, um, well we've got these uh, marines here sitting idly. We can use them to scout out the area and clear off the remainder, remainder of the camp's troops. Where's that other one? Oh, here. Dump in mission, let's actually go and see what's uh, in those crates. Because there are crates, right? Some are here, ish. What's in this one? Crag grenade, something we can use. Probably almost make up for the <laughs> crag grenades we used. The, okay, anti plant missiles, great. Great. No plasmas. We need plasma weaponry. There's probably some more crates somewhere. Yes, no? Come on, more crates. Uh, apparently not. Oh well. End mission. There we go, victory music. That's what we wanted. Okay, well we got some promotions. Oh, uh, brother, brother Alerbus got some marksman honors and a crooks terminatus. terminatus. Alyssa's got squat. Mom got squat. Aurelius got nothing, he killed a space marine though. Well, chaos marine, I keep saying space marine. Um, same thing though, isn't it? Saturninus got nothing, Valerius got nothing. Um, Santianus got promoted, because he killed a marine as a cultist. Um, okay, nothing. Arcadius, promoted to a veteran. Didn't have that much experience, fortunately, but it's gonna hurt anyway. Electus got promoted, 
Oh, we've seen that. All right. So some promotions, that's good. Um, some deaths, that's not good. We got one Rather more of these to do. Uh, this one. So is it just me or did the music get extremely loud? It's like, did you get extremely loud? Yes, you did. I knew it. Yeah, it gets loud in the briefing, definitely. Alright, so another Devastator dead. Let's find somebody to replace him. Or her. Well, him, I suppose. Um, somebody with high accuracy, how about that? Can we have somebody closer, closest to 7? This guy, Darius. Focus is pretty good. Yeah, let's get Pendaris onto the team. So we got those Terminators here. Uh, people who got Terminator crosses can then start with uh, yeah, the Crooks Terminators. They, they can be replaced for those guys. Which you can do with uh, just normal Marines. Say X. But, I mean, we can start using these guys later. They have pretty good stats, but we're going to suddenly need a third squad somewhere, sometime in the future, and it's good that we're going to have a, basically a veteran squad right off the bat. Also, look at that armor value. Look at our armor value. That's what we're cool. Um, Alright, uh, we need two squads. The usual. This time around, I will not forget to swap out weapons. How about that? You can have a, a purifier, you can have a flamer, and you can have a power fist, and you can have a power axe, and you can have a power fist, you can have a power sword, and you can have uh, a power sword as well. And I'm a bit lazy, so let me just fill you up on those. It'll be fine. Um, you can have one of those, and you can have a scanner. You guys, I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? But okay. Um, get the heavy bolter. Oh, we lost a heavy bolter, right? Fine then. Going to use a missile launcher instead. Some crags, some frags. That's fine. Pindaris will be in charge of that. Very well. Um, you guys take some more tracks, and we're fighting in an urban environment, I think, this time around, so it's gonna be different uh, from this jungle we've been seeing so far. Yeah, there we go. Um, map, it's doing the thing, and it gets broken. That's okay. Can we turn it off and turn it on again? Will that work? No. no. Screwed up. It's okay though. Um, there are buildings. Amidst those buildings there are cultists and probably five marines that like we've seen so far. I don't particularly like these kinds of environments. I find them even harder to navigate in, but we're going to take this one easy. Uh, especially that I've learned my lesson. Yes, yes. We're going to take our squad sergeant and we're going to have him use his device. And we're going to see that there's some enemies over there and that's it. That's not very useful information. We're going to move the squad sergeant over here. And he can face check that information. Yes. There's certainly some chaos over there. We need that map. Do need it big too, which is annoying. Alright. We could go up there, set up a position. Or we can go around here ish. Uh, you know what this map, this kind of map really needs? It needs the ability to rotate the screen, which obviously was uh, not something that could happen back in when they were painting this day, at least not, not practically. Not really, not if you wanted those uh, 
the graphics to be as cool as they are, which they are. Alright, we are going to do a scouting mission onto the top of this building thing. Good job. We see no enemy marines. We can fire at some of these guys though. Can we toss a grenade? No, we cannot. Hmm. Sadness. We can take a couple of pot shots and then hide. We should be relatively safe. Right, because we are invisible now. Alrighty then, uh, let's take another one of our guys and do a very similar thing. We could pop you down there, I suppose, but or up there, I suppose is the, the correct term. But let's not let's not get too uh, too cocky. Let's just do this carefully. Not in a hurry. And we just lost somebody. <laughs> that was great. Um, alright. And I guess we'll keep the third one now. Oh, we'll also put him up here. And we're going to set up a line of defense, well, a line of fire with our remaining marines and wait for these guys to come in closer. Ah, oh, god. Not doing such a great job firing from up there. Okay. So. Okay, you can't really move and fire all that much. Put you here for now, and uh, we're going to have you kneel. And we're going to take this guy. Move him up here. A lot of us. Put you on the watch. We're gonna take mom, we're gonna put mom. It'd be great if we could flank somehow, but I don't think that's doable. We could flank over here, I suppose. Let's try and figure this out then. Some sort of eldritch computer there. Alright, that's as far as we go. Let's take another marine and put him up there. It's not much of a defensive line, but we'll do. Okay. And you're down here, and you can also be on Overwatch. Alright. You can be on Overwatch too. Uh, Alright, that's that. So, this is our main defensive line, and this is our smallish flanking force. And we also got people on the roof. Uh, hello, some doors opened. I think. Okay, so there's some hidden enemy movement that we didn't get to see. The uh, cultists are moving in and tossing grenades at the guys upstairs, I suppose. It's fine. Try and clear these guys off and do another uh, face check with one of the. Uh, the well, what they're called, the uh, assault marines there. Good job. Okay, these two. Put you in Overwatch. It's actually not have you kneel down. You, you could fire if you're a little closer, so let's actually move you in. Okay, we need some more chaos troops. Uh, we see some madness. Hmm. Let's not get them too close to them then. Um, and instead of using our flamer, let's just use grenade. There we go. And put you in Overwatch. You see that guy, but you're also not in a position to attack him. Um, because it's too far away. Let's move you here then. Put you 
in Overwatch. I'd love for those Marines to come a little closer, basically, is what I'm trying to do. So, we've spotted the enemy Marines. We know that they're capable of moving in our general direction. So let's try to have them do that. Can't really fire a missile at them. All our bus can take a seat here. This guy over here, I think that's okay. Um, you will actually take a knee then. And we'll make a face check out here. Okay, those are cultists, those we do not fear. Um, are there any more? Okay, and we'll get Electus maybe here. Right, and you take a knee and you go into Overwatch. Now, so that's that. You guys, you are going to be preparing for a jump. Hopefully now, that's gonna be late. And hopefully we don't get spotted or anything. There we go, we see that marine moving in. Another marine, very close by. We can now do a very short jump and get into position to attack them. The, uh... Okay, they're moving in. That's a missile launcher, we can take care of that. Probably have something nasty as well. That's a plasma or a flamer. I catch that. Certainly on our uh, on a priority list, on our short list of things to kill. Um, all right, you can see a bunch of people. You can see that guy. You can see somebody. Well, let's have a short-range uh, missile duel then, because you can see the missile launcher. Fire! You are victorious. Good job. The new guy is doing the right thing. We are in with chaos okay, that looks like a plasma. Maybe. Okay, well, it's hard to tell, to be honest. We could move in and we could attack them with our uh, short range weapons. Could we actually do something else before that? Stand up. All you see is some cultists, okay? You, you see nobody. You, you see nobody. Okay. Now you see people. I see. Well, that's how it is then. Um, and you can't fire worth it now. Huh. Yeah. I hold your death. These guys are going to have to deal with the entire two squads of cultists for now, but that's okay. I think they'll manage. How do we do this so that we don't regret it? Um, let's get you closer. Contact with enemy units. Let's have you toss a grenade. But miss. Horrible. Okay. That's how it is. Okay, we can move you here. You probably can't throw a grenade that far. Uh, and you can't take any great. And you can fire a couple of shots into them. Alright. And then you can take any. Yeah, no, we do have to get in there and we do have to engage short range. Um, let's try and uh, get in there, engage, and move back. I just remembered something important. When you jump in. The sword attack should not cost us 14, as it says here. See that? It says 14. That's how many points it should cost us, but I think we turn for free. 
Yeah, see, we turn for free. Alright. So we're going to try and do this. We're going to try and do two attacks. Well, we're going to try and leave enough points for uh, our guys to evacuate. What we really want to do is just take care of that. The remainder is just helpful, but not a huge deal, right? So, take a shot, and let's have you jump back, all the way back here. Unfortunately, you can't clean afterwards, so let's hope you're not... You're not going to end up too badly hurt from this. Um, okay. Maybe it's just easier to toss grenades at you. Well, you can't really do that. Mm. Annoying. Okay, well then. Hello. everybody. Now what the uh, flamethrower can do, it's not great against the marines, but what it can do is it can break their morale. Well, I guess I'm trying to do that. Or we can just kill him, that's fine too. I mean, who am I to complain? Oh, uh, really? Okay. So now we're kind of... We're kind of stuck in the worst of all possible situations here. We are left with one guy. This one guy is close to two of our guys. Can't do anything about it, really. And we are out of orders. Right? Nobody left. Well, nobody with any reasonable amount of points. Can't take a knee, though. Yep, that's that. I should have evacuated them, but I thought we would be able to do them. He's throwing grenade up there, that's fine, that's actually okay. Um, that goes to attack frag grenades as well, so I'm not hugely worried about those. Plasma grenades, I would be hugely worried about, but not that. Okay! Um, no, just keep kneeling and keep fire. I hold your death in my hands! What we've got left now is cultists be able to deal with them handily. Um, just shooting them down. All right. Kill a cultist, please. There we go. Uh, Mom can take care of it, can take care of a cultist, hopefully. Uh, don't know what happened there. This one, right? Or this could happen. <laughs> uh, Let's see, Electus can take a this guy maybe. Okay, good. Then have a repeat of that situation. Um, looks like there's two left. Uh, can you get out from there? Yes. There's one here and one here. Go there. Please repeat. Please take 
care of him. Um, Alright, and we'll have Aurelia move in here and take care of that guy. We'll find a good landing spot, which we can. Witcher Axe. Move in closer and. That was pathetic. How can you not win instantly with a cultist? Um, anyway, let's do the traditional uh, manual check of the. Oh, crates. A lot of them. Four of them. Five. Of them. Wow, that's a lot of them. Let's go and see what goodies we have managed to retrieve. All the crates. Okay, we got flamer fuel. Um, I suppose. What are you doing? Here, right. Bolt pistol clips, okay, I guess those will be useful too. I mean, we're using those at least. Um, now to attend the mission, let's take a look here. Power fist, that's nice, that's actually useful. We don't have nearly enough of those. That's a hand flamer, I suppose. Um, I mean, we can possibly make use of it. That's gonna be more useful though if we actually start losing people with hand flamers. Because I think two is a sufficient amount. And heavy bolter clips. Now those we definitely use up. All right. So that's that. That's the three side missions with the victory music. Uh, okay, somebody got a purity seal, brother Aurelius, good job. All you need is that terminator cross and you're set. And... Wow, 100% accuracy, good job. Uh, purity seal for Saturninus, again, good job. Purity seal for Bla brother Valerius, uh, I again, good job, I have nothing to add. Diddly squad for brother Santianus, sorry mate. And anti is also didn't get anything. You're unlucky. You got tons of experience and stuff, but uh, just don't get the awards. Um, Alright, Electus got nothing. Purity Seal for Alerbus. Um, Lucilla's got nothing. Mom got nothing. Pindaris got nothing, but did, did score some. Well, he killed a Chaos Space Marine with his missile launcher, right? Uh, which is all he did. Alright. So, those were the three side missions, and next time around we're going to tackle the story mission. Um, so, see you then.